All right, let's talk about Logan and Cassidy. Apparently, Logan and Cassidy had a fight because they were camping together, and uh, Logan started biking one direction north, and Cassidy started biking east. So they were driving apart. I wonder what happened. Anyway, uh, Logan is biking slower than Cassidy. He's probably crying. And uh, after four hours, they turn out to be 68 kilometers apart. So the question is, how fast was each bicyclist going? Not a realistic problem, but a fun problem nonetheless. So here's what we have going on. Logan is headed north, and Cassidy is headed east. And I drew Cassidy's line longer because she's traveling faster. And what I know right now, I'm just jotting down a few ideas. I think L represents how long distance, or the distance that Logan's going to ride. So clearly, it's going to change because time passes, he's moving away. And same thing true for Cassidy. So that's her distance is C. But then I, I look at the uh, question in the paragraph, and it says something about their speeds. So uh, 7 kilometers per hour slower than Cassidy. So somehow we have to work in speed as variables as well. I think that the speed is going to affect the distance and we are trying to figure out how far apart they are anyway these are just some ideas if x is Cassidy's speed and y is Logan's speed then we can express Logan's speed as Cassidy's speed less 7 kilometers per hour that looks like 76 meters per hour, but it's 7 kilometers per hour slower. So that's really a connection between their speeds so that we can just use one variable. It's a good thing. You notice that's a thread that runs through a lot of these problems. Anyway, speed is the thing that we're trying to figure out. The distance between them at 4 hours is the thing that we need to know. Ultimately, that's determined by how fast they're going. So, I pick a speed. Let's let Cassidy bike at 10 kilometers per hour, then Logan bikes 3 kilometers per hour. It's a pretty slow bike. After 4 hours, then, we've got 10 kilometers per hour times 4 hours, that's 40 kilometers. We've got 3 kilometers per hour times 4 hours, that's 12 kilometers. That means they were, she was 40 kilometers away from the camp, he was 12 kilometers away from the camp, they were this far apart. Now one of the things I'll point out here is I used a ruler and I made the 12 1.2 centimeters and I made the 40, I made that 4 centimeters. So what I can do now is actually measure the distance and it looks like it's around 41 or 4.1 or 41 kilometers. And then I remember this thing that I learned in grade school that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That's Pythagorean theorem, so that's what I use here. The distance squared equals a squared plus b squared, 144 and 1600. Add them together, take the square root, and it's about as long as my ruler said it would be. However, it's too close together. They are not 68 kilometers apart if Cassidy is traveling at 10 kilometers per hour. So she needs to be going faster. So, Cassidy bikes 17 kilometers per hour. That means Logan is at 10 kilometers per hour. They're both going at a fair clip, more commensurate with a fight. Now, after four hours, Cassidy went 17 kilometers per hour times four hours. That's 68 kilometers. 40 kilometers for Logan, 68, 40. Pythagorean theorem again. D squared equals 68 squared plus 40 squared and 78 kilometers, 78.9 or almost 79 kilometers. That's too far. Notice, by the way, this is 6.8, or representing 68 kilometers. This is 4, representing 4 kilometers. And if I measure their distance, that appears to be in the ballpark of 7.89, something like that. So I know I'm on the right track here in trying to understand the relationship between the speed and the distance traveled. I think I'm ready to generalize this. We can interpret that Cassie's speed is rate times time. X kilometers per hour times 4 hours gives us 4x kilometers per hour. Logan was going slower than Cassidy by 7 kilometers per hour times 4 hours. It's 4x minus 28 kilometers. So that's a representation of Logan's distance. That's a representation of Cassie's distance. And we want their distance apart after 4 hours to be 68 kilometers. 
So I go back and use my Pythagorean theorem. d squared equals a squared plus b squared. The rest is algebra, algebra, algebra. It turns out, by the way, that these giant numbers are all divisible by 32. It makes a nice, clean, factorable equation. Isn't that a coincidence? And when I solve this, negative 8 is not relevant. 15 kilometers per hour is the speed she should go. And let's take a further look. That being the case, Cassidy biked at 15 kilometers per hour. Logan biked at 8 kilometers per hour. Just to verify, 8 times 4 is 32. 15 times 4 is 60. Put that into the Pythagorean theorem, and you get 68. Also notice that if I put uh, 15, which was x, into my quadratic equation, I get d squared, which was 68 squared. It's all connected, man. There's no doubt that I know what I'm doing. Um, I'd like to point out in the last moments of this video that you'll notice I used three pages to clearly outline my thinking and thought processes. When you solve problems in the real world, it's never going to break down into simple two lines in a notebook page. So give yourself some room to explore. Give yourself some room to write. And I'll do the same for you on Monday's test.